everyone and welcome to exam b in this video i am going to talk about some content related stuff for sebi it phase 2 so this is the series where we are going to think what are different types of questions can be asked in sebi it phase 2 examination so this is the very first video where the topic is what kind of questions can come in sebi it phase 2 and the sub topic is debugging so we are going to tackle these sub topics one by one and we'll see how many types of questions can come from debugging or how many questions uh, can be there for control flow or how many can be there for the dry run of the output as well so we'll make small videos having one set of question in one video we will discuss that and then we will see how many different types of questions are there or we can say what is the possibility of having different types of questions that all can be covered in this particular video series so in this particular video this is the very first one and here i am going to start with the debugging so as in the sebi syllabus it is clearly mentioned that they are going to give you debugging questions in the phase 2 examination now before going and solving the debugging question we should understand what is debugging so debugging is uh, nothing it is just a practice in software engineering where the process of identifying and resolving of the errors or bugs in the software system takes place so basically there is a system which is flawed with some errors or exceptions you being the person enabling the debugging you should be able to identify the process you should be able to uh identify the errors and resolve those errors so it is not only like uh, finding the errors it is also like resolving the errors so this two activities are actually the umbrella of entire debugging concept so when you identify a problem it is not only till identification you identify the problem and then you solve the problem as well once you do both these two things then you can say you have completed your debugging task this is the very first type of question which can come into your examination and i will explain you in a great detail how you should handle it and what is actually expected so the very first type of question can be like you will be given a code so here you can see there is a code and that code will be flawed there will be mistakes in that code and then there will be some set of questions based on this code and you have to answer them so you can clearly see this is a small code and i have not taken very big code because this is a very first video on the debugging here we are able to here we should be able to understand what sort of questions are going to come not on the difficulty level of the question so this particular question is up till mid moderate sort of thing and it is written in python so basically we are trying to identify different types of questions so this is a very easy question i will say for those who are good with python but it will be up till moderate level for those who are not good with python or who haven't read python any time soon so now we'll start reading the question so here you can say they have defined a function and it's written like function underscore zero one so this is the name of the function then you have the parameters and then you have a logic for this function then you have a driver code where you are calling the function and doing some task and then you are printing some sort of activities right so this is the control flow of the entire question now what sort of questions can be there so the very first question if you see here is asking you what is the primary logical error in the function one the function that prevents it from correctly searching the entire array so now this particular function is flawed and we know it that this particular program is flawed now the question is itself telling you that what actually is preventing the particular code to enable the proper search operation in an entire array so you have to see that okay what this particular program is doing and what is the expected output from the exam so basically this particular question is trying to do something related to comparison which actually will enable you to have a searching operation but here instead of having that comparison it is doing an assignment so if you see for this particular line if arr is equal to target so this is not a correct thing to be writing for searching operation or for comparison this is for the assignment and here the entire logic is wrong so basically now you will go through all the four points we will read the question again 
what is the primary logical error in function 1 that prevent it from correctly searching the entire array so the question is giving you a hint that i want to have a perfect search operation right and what is preventing so the very first option is it only checks the first element of the array it doesn't handle the case where the target is the first element it returns minus 1 prematurely if the first element doesn't match it uses a wrong comparison operator so you can see here there can be multiple things which are actually correct and now it can be a question where you have to take the optimal answer or where you have to take multiple correct options which are there so you guys only have to provide me the answers i'm not going to solve this problem for you and you can see here in this particular code just pause the video understand this code and then solve the problems i'm going to tell you what is expected out of a question and you have to solve and put the answers in the comment and we will be telling you which one is the correct one the next question which of the following best describes the behavior of function one so now whatever this function one is doing we don't want to put it like it is true or false it is correct or incorrect we want to just understand the behavior of the function one so if you understand the flow of the function you will be able to correctly identify the correct answer that it correctly implements a linear search or it always return an index what the target value if it exists in the array or not or it only checks the first element of the array if it matches the target value or it raises an exception if the target value is not found so all these things are there and now you have to go and identify which is actually correct the third question type can be that if different sort of input is given with a different sort of parameter for the search value what this particular function will do so if the input itself is changed what is expected out of function one right so these types of questions can come and these questions are of easy level they are not so tough because they can see in the code the logic is not so difficult it is very easy logic and you can be able to understand it is not having more than one function so no control flow of the function is there it is not having different very difficult operators so that is also not happening so entire thing is easy here you just need to put in your mind and understand the question properly and then answer so this particular entire question can be a five marker I'm just telling you, it can be a five marker where one code is there and relatable five questions are there. So if you get the concept of the question from the code, you can be able to solve all the five questions correctly. Or if you get it wrong, all the fives will be bad. Now, for your support, I am providing you the correct code here. So you can see what is the correct code here. Now, there can be a question as well where you have four options and you have to correctly find the code which is actually the correct version of the function one which was wrong in the question itself so those sorts of question can also come for your help i have given you a correct code here as well so now just understand the correct code then understand the wrong code and then solve the problem as well because you might need help in the initial question so i am providing you that help do mention what are the correct answers as per your understanding i don't want to spoon feed you guys here and you have to provide me the correct answers for this okay so this was the very first video where we discussed about one of the questions which can be a type of debugging question and can come into your exam so the level of questions can be different the level of questions can be more difficult but yes definitely this sort of questions can be there in the exam now if you like this video and you want me to make more for the phase two videos for related to content do like the video to share it with your uh, competitors and the people who are actually preparing so you have a better study group and share us the video as much you can follow us for more updates so that you never miss an update from our side whenever we bring such content related videos so i will tell you the agenda also before leaving the video we are going to make a video series where we are going to discuss different types of questions related to different types of paradigms which are actually the part of the phase two exam the coding questions which are related to debugging related to code runs related to the guessing the output related to the control flow and mix of that as well with level of difficulty rising from easy medium and difficult so you will have a bunch of different set of questions so if you don't want to miss on that please do subscribe the channel and please put your answers in the comment so that we get to know how engaging our students are and how interested they are to have this sort of video series thank you keep them practicing and stay motivated